we've been considering Mary crowned in glory in the book of Revelation chapter 12, this is a good time for us to take a look at the dogma of the Assumption of Mary. The Catholic Church teaches that Mary was assumed into heaven at the end of her earthly life. She was taken up body and soul into heaven. We're standing outside the Church of the Sepulcher of St. Mary here in Jerusalem, the place where it was traditionally believed that Mary's Assumption took place. Now, is there any biblical foundation for the Assumption of Mary? We have to be clear that there's no explicit account of Mary's Assumption in the Bible, but there is some scriptural support. We can see that there's some precedent for the idea of God taking people into heaven. For example, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 5 tells us that Enoch, the Old Testament hero, was taken up into heaven. We can read about Elijah in 2 Kings being taken up into heaven in a fiery chariot. But Mary's assumption is different in the sense that she was taken up at the very end of her earthly life, body and soul, sharing in her son's glorious victory over death and in his resurrection. Now, it's fitting that Mary had this unique share in Christ's resurrection in the sense that she is the first and model disciple. We have to remember that the New Testament reveals that all faithful followers of Christ are going to share in his victory over death and in his resurrection. And Mary, who's the first person to hear God's word and obey it in the New Testament, and she's the one who remains faithful all throughout her life, serves as this model faithful disciple. It's fitting that she goes ahead of us. We saw earlier when we looked at the Magnificat, how the Magnificat reveals that what God did in Mary is a sign of foreshadowing, anticipating what God is going to do in the rest of his people. So we can look at Mary in her glorious assumption and be reminded of our destiny. If we're faithful to the end, we will share in Christ's glorious resurrection at the resurrection of the body at the end of time. Christian art often depicts this scene with Mary going up to heaven and the angels pushing her up through clouds and angels with trumpets and music and celebration and saints rejoicing to welcome Mary into heaven. Now that's one way we could look at the Assumption, but there's a beautiful depiction in St. Peter's Basilica in Rome that shows Mary's moment just before the Assumption, one second right before that glorious event. It's Mary's last breath and she's seen letting go and it's as if she's falling. And just at that moment, the angels come down ready to take her up. It's a beautiful thing to think about, Mary's last moment. It's as if she's letting go of all earthly concerns, the burdens of this world, letting go and entrusting herself completely to God. This moment from Mary's life offers all of us much encouragement in the midst of the various trials and difficulties that we face in our daily lives. We can learn from Mary to let go and entrust our burdens to our Heavenly Father, to throw ourselves into our Heavenly Father's arms, trusting that He's going to carry us through whatever we face in this life and ultimately carry us up to heaven where we can be with Him and Mary and Jesus and all the saints forever in heaven. Thank you.